Hi, this is Marloom's Creations, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the tarantula on your rainbow loom. This project is not too difficult, but it is very time consuming. So what I have done is I have already prepped the tarantula's legs ahead of time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make one of his long legs, one of his pedipalps, and then his fangs. And then it's your job to make the other eight, fun, 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 and then another pedipalp, and then the other fang. And I will, as I'm going along, I will just, you know, I'll remind you what you need. For today, you will also need your hook, your rainbow loom set up in the staggered configuration. And I'm using pony beads for the tarantula's eyes on the cobalt blue. I used mini ones because his eyes are very tiny. And then on this tarantula, I use big pony beads. It doesn't matter. You can use a big one or a small one. And if you don't own a pony bead, you can also just use a black band and wrap it around your hook and then place it there. It's okay. So let me show you what you're going to need for today. Today's tarantula is going to be purple and green. If you are hoping to make the cobalt, then I can tell you the pattern that you need to make for his legs. For today, I have made, I started with the white and then I did a lime, three jelly purples, a lime, two jelly purples, a lime, and then three. And then I will do that eight times. So I'm going to show you that. But if you want to do him, you're going to start out with a cream color or skin color, and then a light blue. So let me show you with the purple so you can get an idea. You're going to take, I'm taking two white bands, and I'm going down, and then I'm following that with two lime green. And this is for today's spider. So it's a white, two white, two lime green, followed by three sets of jelly purple. And then repeating another lime green, followed by two sets of jelly. He's a slippery. Another lime green. And then the rest is purple. The last three. So the pattern for his legs are as follows. White on the top. Let me put the last purple to show you. So it's going to be a white, a lime green, purple, 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 lime green, purple, purple, lime green, purple, purple, purple. And then you finish that off with a single and wrap it around four times. And you're going to make eight of these. So there's no reason for me to show you eight times. You're just going to make eight of those. And that will become his leg. Then for his pedipalp, the one that's smaller, the pattern for that one is... You're starting off with two white as well, followed by two sets of jelly purple, and then a set of two lime green, and finishing it off with a jelly purple. and then another one. So this one is just one, two, three, four, five, six long and this one takes the whole loom. So it's a white, purple, purple, a green, purple, purple. And that is his pedipalp and you only need two of these so don't don't make so many. So you make two of these 
and eight of these. And so it's just very time consuming. And then you take a single and wrap that around the end four times and you would loop them. And now for the cobalt, you're going to start off with a cream color, then a light blue, then dark, 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 light, dark, dark, light, dark, dark, dark. Same thing as this one, except you're doing a different setup of colors. And then you're doing exactly eight of those as well. And for his pedipalp on here, I placed a light blue, dark, dark, light blue, dark, dark. And you would only make two of those. Now let me show you how to make the tarantula's fangs. You're going to need 28 colors of the fangs that you want. I like to use the metallic bands because I have a jumping spider and his fangs have a shimmer to it. My real spider. So I really thought it was cool to actually use the shimmer bands or metallic bands and have them stand out. So for this spider I'm using pink but for the cobalt you would use um, I use the metallic blue and what you're going to do is you're going to grab a single band of the color that you're using and wrap it around the peg twice over itself like that and then you're going to do that again and let me just count to make sure because I wasn't sure it's one two three four five six seven eight Okay, so there's eight on each one. So I placed three and I have doubled a single. I'm placing the fourth. And if, it, if you find it easier to just wrap it around your finger like that and then place it, you can do that too. So that's the fifth. Six. Seven, and then the final one and then on this last peg I do wrap it around five times if you can't go further than five times around that's fine I mean four then you can just go four but I'm going to do two three four and five and then you would loop them and we'll show you and this is probably because we're going to have a lot of pieces it's probably a really good idea to start grabbing an extra hook or a toothpick especially for the the fangs the fangs are so tight that when we pull them off they can come undone so I went behind the cap and I pulled the bands up and I'm just going to loop these forward and I'm just grabbing the bottom bands and bringing them to the peg above. And by now I think everybody should know how to loop. And then I pulled it off and that is one of your spider's fangs. And you can just adjust it. And if I take this off of the hook, it may come undone. So I'm going to place mine on a spare. And that is one fang and you want to do the same step. Go down eight, use a single and double it and make the other. So you need two fangs, two pedipalps, and then you need eight legs. Get started on doing that. And then when we return, when you, ret um, when you, I don't know what I'm saying. The next step after that will be, I will show you how to make the body of the spider. So gather all of your supplies, your e-bead, I mean your pony bead, and your legs, arms, and your legs, pedipalps, and fang. I have told you this in the beginning, but let me tell you now that for the jelly purple, you will need 82, give or take more because of capping bands, but you need 82, 46 of your color that's in the middle, the lime green, and 40 whites and then 16 bands for your fangs. 
and then um, that should give you a better idea of how many bands you need. Have you should have eight legs, two pedipalps, I think that's how they're called, and then two fangs. And now we can get started with the next step. You're going to take your white band and take two white bands and place it from here to here. If you're doing the cobalt, you want to make sure that instead of white, that it matches the first color of your leg. So the first color is a, ca is a cream color or a caramel. Um, it's tan, I'm sorry. And then the outside should be tan as well. And then we're going to go down five times. And on the fifth, we are turning in. And the same on the other side. From here to here. And turning in. And then in the middle, it's going to be the lime green or whatever color you chose for the middle of your spider's legs. And now we are going to begin with the abdomen of the spider. And so you're going to grab your jelly purple or purple and grab two bands. We're always working with two and place it from here to here and go down two. And make sure that your bands are even. The same on this side. Just go down two. And in the middle we go down three. And now we are switching to our lime green cover again and placing it here, here, and here, and then on this peg we're turning in. And the same on this one. Now this is a good time to start pushing all the bands down because we're going to need all the extra space because we're adding extensions soon. We're going to use the bottom of our loom to create the extension. So use the bottom starting at this peg and grab two jelly purples. And then another two. And then two sets of green. And then grab a single green and on this last peg, wrap it around only three times. And do the same thing on this side. set of purple a set of green 
and then wrap a single around that peg only three one two it's it looked like I just did it twice but what you should to make sure you have three and you're not confused you should count three rows so that's two there and then that's the third so you should have three rows right there and then that's how you know you wrapped around the right amount of times and then we are going to loop those you take your hook push back the bands that we capped and grab the bottom and loop it forward the same here push back those bands and loop forward and then we're going to remove one of the extensions and we are going to place that extension on this peg right here right here and we're going to take our hook push it through the bands that we wrapped around only three and we're going to pull on it and place it on this peg the very last one and then take this and pull it to the outside so you place it on this peg and this peg and that's your extension the same with this one pull it off place it on this peg it's the fifth one from the top so you're placing on this one and then you're taking your hook make sure you're only grabbing three bands and you're pulling on it and you're placing it on that peg right here and you're going to pull that on the outer side and that's your second extension for the abdomen and we can begin to add all of the spiders um, limbs the first thing is I'm going to add the larger legs and take one of them and place it on the very first peg like so take the second place it on the second one and just when you place them make sure that you push back you push down all the other bands and that they're placed nicely and they're not overlapping and then this one and this one and then repeat it on this side Now you're going to grab your pedipalps and place it on the same, let me just fix this because it's a little twisted, place it on the same peg as this one. So you're placing that one over it. And then this one on the same peg too. And push everything down. It's a lot of bands. And then you're going to grab your fangs and the fangs go on here make sure that you're placing it through all the holes and that you're not missing one push all the bands down and place one fang and then the other
And now we are going to place the triangle bands. You're going to use the color that matches the outside of your spider or you can use clear bands. For the cobalt, I used clear capping because had I used um, the blue, it would have showed. And if I used the tan color, it may have showed through the middle. And I don't want to see the tan color in the middle. I just want to see the blue. So again, it's your choice. You can use the white or you can use clear bands. I'm just going to use the white for now. And the first capping band is, I mean, the triangle band is a single white or clear, and it's placed like that. And the second is from here to here. The third from here to here, nothing here. And then for the abdomen, it's a green here, another green here. A purple if you don't want to use a jelly for the for the triangle because you think that it's too tight or too slippery you can use a regular purple for the capping it, it doesn't make a difference and I'm going to use the jelly just to see what happens and then you don't need anything on these three or on these three so now let's begin with the fun part which is the looping the abdomen part which is it's a little tricky so you need to pay close attention I got to tell you where to place the eyes take your eye band and if you don't have beads I just placed a single band through two beads if you don't have beads you're going to take two black bands and so pretend these are black and wrap it around your hook four times and then you would take another black wrap it around your hook four times and then you would thread these two, if they were black, onto either a green band to match the middle or the white. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to use a green. If you want to do white because it matches this part better, you can. And then that would become your eye. So I'm going to place the eye band on this peg, the very top two. I'm going to separate it and then take the bottom row and pull it there and then that is where you place your eye and then you can um, replace this cap and band. I had removed this band originally I removed it because I had to place the eye so now once you have pulled this down you may then replace that band like that. Now it's time to loop this spider. What you're going to do is you're going to figure out which one is you're going to be pushing back the extension. This is one extension and this is the other. Those are the two you're going to be pushing back and you're going to be aiming for the next top two. For me it's these. These are the ones that I need to grab. If you place the bands in the same order as me and didn't rush ahead, then yours should be right here as well. And I'm going to reach in and grab those top two green bands. So I'm pushing back the two extensions and I'm grabbing the other top two. And they go to the right for me very easily. Then I'm pushing the capping bands back, I mean the extensions away again, grabbing the next top two. And again, they go to the left. And then the final two should just go straight forward. Now this was very simple for me today because these green bands are very slippery for me and I liked that and that, that made them slide up. Um, the last time I used the I for the cobalt, they had a waxy feel to them and they tore immediately. Now reach in here and you're going to push back all the bands except for the bottom two. 
and then you're grabbing those bottom two bands and bringing it to the peg above. Do you see how tight that is? Push your hook in here and go like that in a circle and then you release them. The same on this side. You're going to I'm going to work sideways for a second. You're going to push back all the bands and grab just the bottom two and bring them to the peg above. Again, it's being pulled, so I'm going to take my hook and release that. And that way it doesn't tear. Take the middle and bring it forward. Reach in here, avoid this triangle band, pushing that back, and bring these forward, the bottom two forward. Push back that band, that's a triangle band, and bring those two forward. And then the middle goes forward. Push back that triangle band right here, grab the bottom two, bring these forward. Bring the middle forward, and then push back these, grab the bottom two, and bring that forward. Now reach in here, grab the bottom two, that should be easy, bring it to the middle peg, and finally these two to the middle peg. Now this is the fun part. You're pushing back a lot of bands. But the good news is, because this is white, white and green, we can see them. So we're aiming for the two green bands. So that's the good point. Ignore that alarm. And they're pushing that forward and see the tension. Take your hook and go in a, ra go in a circle motion and that will release the tension. Now grab the next top two bands and figure out which direction they want to go in. I think I snagged the wrong band. Let's do that over. It's the alarm's fault. Alright, let's try that again. Let's see if this works. Why is my camera so blurry? You're reaching in, pushing back every band, and trying to grab just, I don't know what I'm doing here, just the top two, and it doesn't want me to do it. And bring them to the direction that it goes to, which is the right for me. And then the last top two, the last two to the left. And you can take your hook and go in a circular motion and that should release it. If you have bands popping here, I, I'm really sorry. It, you really should be using a metal hook for these kind of projects and taking your time. It, it, they pop on me all the time too. Take your hook, reach in here, push back every band except... for the bottom two. They should, you should be grabbing just these, just these two bands. So maybe what you can do is take your loom and pay attention to the side and make sure you're grabbing just those two. And that's what I do sometimes. And so then I'm taking them and bringing them to the peg above. Again, if you have tension, you can go like that and that'll release it. Now this one, only grabbing the bottom two and bringing that forward. Push all the um, triangle bands down, it makes it easier. So we have looped this to this, this to this. Now don't forget the middle and bring that forward. The middle is very easy. Reach back into this one and grab just the bottom two and make sure when you reach in here that you're pushing this band out of the way. So you're pushing the leg and those bands and just grab in the bottom two and bring that to the peg above. Again with this one. Push back that triangle band and the legs and just grab the bottom two and bring it forward. And the same here, pushing back that triangle and the legs and bringing that to the peg above. Push back all these bands, grab the bottom two, and bring it to the peg above. 
Don't forget the middle. Bring that forward. And actually you can loop. This is the tricky part. There is an eye band here, right here. That single eye band. You want to go behind the, the eye band should be pushed. Push the eye band out of the way and then grab the two green bands. And then loop that onto that band. Then we are going to reach in here. It's going to be a little tougher because we have two legs. Push your hook here. Actually, no, it's not too bad. Grab the bottom two and push back all these and bring that forward. And the reason we loop the middle first is because you want the look of the outside color to be in a perfect circle. So that is why if you loop the middle last, um, it'll show, the green will show instead. Not that you care. Now grab the hook and grab the last two bands. This should be really easy for me. Okay, I got them. The last two bands and bring it to the middle peg. And we are done. That's it. We did it. Now we are going to tie it off with a slip knot. I'm going to tell you that this spider has not fallen apart for me at all. But Mr. Cobalt Blue has fallen apart th two times already. I don't know. I think maybe it's because I used the slippery bands for his fangs and they just keep sliding out. Him, I just did a slip knot and he stayed put. Him, I had to actually use another band and then I s clipped it to his butt because it was frustrating me. So, just grab a single white band and you're going to slide it through all of these bands and you really need to make sure that you are getting every band because he will fall apart and you trust me you don't want him to fall apart it's not fun so take your hook and make sure you went through you should hear a bump that's all the bands and then go to the side and make sure look at the bottom make sure you're going through every band and if you would like just to be safe, use two bands and pull them through. Take one band, the back band, and leave it on your finger. I'm going to show you something. Pull his fangs up and you should see a, a hole. You see that hole? Take your hook and enter that hole. Make sure you're entering it straight and even. Make sure you have grabbed every band. And now he's out the back place the white bands on that hook. Pull them up again and you're pulling those white bands through like that. So now the white bands are in the front. Then you're going to create that slip knot. So the slip knot is take those bands, pull it over and pull. Again, you can use a single but I'm going to use double bands for now because this spider had a mind of his own. And that's it. And now we can take him off of our loom. Use the back of your hook and take him off so slowly because you don't want to snag any more bands or break them. And then you push the eye up and the booty, I know it's an abdomen, I call it his booty, is facing up. You push it down and then it makes like a, a bubble shape, which is really nice. And then here's his fangs or her fangs because she's a girl. Oh, look, she stands up already. And then those extra white bands, you can 
just go through her face and I would pull it if I were you through here and then go through the back pull it again and just kind of hide it in the back and this is what it looks like if you use two small pony beads and this is what it looks like if you use the big pony beads and I think she came out pretty good if you want the fangs to lay right what I do is there's a bottom here's the top thing there's a bottom set right here the bottom row I open it a little and I put the fang through it the bottom fang through it and now they lay correctly and that is how you create your tarantula on your rainbow loom I hope you guys had a great time making it and if you liked it please subscribe